Hello and welcome to episode 185 of El Cholo 2's favorite podcast, Whammy Award winning FedCast, the Fox News of the IWC, coming to you from inside the Fed Zone. My name is Steve and with me as always, Justin. And we're here to talk to you about the wacky world of wrestling for the week of April 25th, 2016. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, we said it last week. Well, yeah. we said it two weeks ago. Uh huh. And then we said it last week. Yeah. Now we're going to say it again this week. No, I'm not saying it this week. Yeah. Um, Just in case. Yeah. Um, we really need to stop with the yeah. People this passing this needs away. to yeah. We've had a really rough year with people passing, and this is not both in pop culture and wrestling. Yeah, which this we'll is, talk about too today. Yeah, this is this is getting really really bad. Um, close to home stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. Um, so before we talk about the unfortunate wrestling related death, mm-hmm. which was China. Yes. We had another death, we did. which happened the day after she passed away. I, it's either the day after or the day of. I mean, yeah, I found it was out about, really... I found out about her the day I found out about it, it this was, one. It was super close to yeah. one another. Uh, Prince. Yeah. His royal badness. His royal badness himself. Um, Prince Roger Nelson oof. passed away uh, at his um, home. Yeah. Or was it Paisley Park? Or it was Paisley, Paisley Park, is, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he, he passed away there. I didn't want to believe it. Uh, I was sent a message. Yeah, it's one of those, no. It wasn't even just that. It was the way it was reported. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Because they didn't, at first, they didn't confirm it was Prince. They just said there was a death at Paisley Park. And you don't want to believe that. So immediately people are sending me text messages. I'm like, they're just saying it's a death. Don't assume yet. But uh, they they and that's more it. of like, like I don't yeah I'm not believing that I until they I can't say his name yeah until they say his name and it and wasn't until yeah it was like 20 minutes later that they confirmed it was Prince and good lord man yeah this 57 is, this is 57 not, years old yeah um, this is not okay um, first Bowie this year yeah we we lost Bowie just Bowie like a few like a few months ago and now Prince and you know and we're also talking like there's. Alan Rickman and uh, Gary Shandling, like, what is up with this? Um, um, and then, we, of course, you have the wrestling-related ones, yes. and you have, like, other musicians. It's just, like, it's it's been just a bad so bad. Um, and this was a big one. Bowie was a big is, one. This yeah. is because Prince, iconic. Oh, like, absolutely. That's not, I don't even think you can use that word. I don't think that's strong enough No, a it's word. not. <laughs> I mean, for me, I look at it the same way as I did with Bowie, is, like, there's just, these people were larger than life in every sense of the word. That's saying something for yeah, Prince. Yeah, exactly. He's a very yeah, small he's man. Yeah, a very small man, um, but a rock god. Like, yeah, yeah, there yeah. was no other way around it. I mean, you know, there, there you was... You won't find somebody who no. doesn't like a Prince song. Yeah, like it's a just... A Prince it's, song. Yeah, it's one of those things where No just, one doesn't like Prince. Yeah, like Prince is one of those people that just everybody liked his music. Uh, not everything, because, I mean, the man released like 36 albums. And that's you can't just like the it stuff all, he released, not, yeah, not and including the yeah, stuff in his vault the that will now vault. come out. Well, we don't know for sure. Like, there's no guarantee. Prince was weird. He Very was, weird. He could have been like, I don't care, even when I pass away. Yeah. There's, like, he does apparently I don't just heard... Don't open the vault. I just heard he didn't have a will as well, so we don't know what's going to happen yeah. with anything, but... Um, I mean, I mean the hits, right? Yeah, like kiss, and kiss. When doves rain, cry, purple rain. Nothing compares to you. Raspberry Beret, uh, nineteen ninety nine. I mean, the entire Batman soundtrack was done with Curated Prince, by Prince, which yeah, yeah. I mean, that was actually oddly enough my first real um, exposure to Prince was mm-hmm. actually the Batman album because I bought that album because. I loved everything Batman, and I didn't know I didn't know anything about the music on it. I was just like, it says Batman. It's and got the logo on it. And dance, I want it. And you get, and you get Party Bat Man, dance, and you which get... yeah, and Party Man, like all those great tunes that doesn't get enough play, in my opinion. Like that album really does deserve uh, to be up there. Oh but yeah, a lot because of it was agree. it wasn't the first of its kind because no. Queen did it with Flash Gordon, mm-hmm, but it mm-hmm. but it I think like you said, I think yeah. that music really yeah. introduced a whole new audience to print. It, well, uh, I mean, it did whole, it did to me. Yeah. I mean, it beca- I became a lifelong fan at that point, and uh, yeah, like all the hits we just mentioned, and there's so many more. Like that's not even that's 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 the hits. Yeah. those are the number ones. And yeah, number and there's there's and so stuff, many in there's... between that is just amazing. Like I don't think that I mean, as far as I know, I haven't heard everything he's put out, but I've never heard a bad prince album i can honestly say that like there's nothing where i went oh well, he was particular right yeah he he did what he did so and i mean and like the acts that he spawned right? yeah like that you know like Morrissey, of time. course you know <laughs> uh there's no way around that that's amazing and i mean i mean as as a somewhat quasi musician myself the man's guitar work like oh my jesus God. like oh yeah. man like you can't tell because usually most people try to put him in the pop category but you can't but you can't put 
Prince in a box. No, you can't. But I mean, his... <laughs> a lot like Bowie, you just can't yeah. Put him no, in a you box can't because, because much like Bowie, like much like Bowie, he reinvented himself all the time, even though he was still the purple guy he I always mean, was. There was but... a whole time when he wasn't even a person. Yeah, he was, he a, was symbol. a symbol. Uh, he was the love symbol, um, and we were all calling him the artist formerly known as Prince, and everyone going, "Why the hell are we calling him that? What the hell does that symbol even mean?" I still don't know. No. I mean, he invented it and said, that's what I am. And we all just sort of went, all right, you don't argue because he's Prince. I was lucky um, enough to catch him live. Did you? Uh, again, mm. the place where I work, Air Canada Center, mm -hmm. it affords me yeah. the opportunity to see all these musical acts that come through. And he mm -hmm. was here for two days. Mm -hmm. Got to see him. Yeah. Hell, I got to see him perform Jungle Love. So, oh, that's awesome. Just right yeah, there yeah you know plus there was a sound check with Morse Day that I got to saw hey, it was it was all beautiful. it was all an experience mm. and the love the best part about it was he was mm -hmm. there for two days yeah and when an artist is there for multiple days mm -hmm. they kind of own the building yeah so whatever the whatever the artist wants mm -hmm. whatever's in the rider yeah the building's theirs right of course Prince being Prince yeah the entire back section uh -huh was lit purple for oh, two days awesome. because that was he they literally came in and changed all the light tubes purple because oh, he needed the back that's... even when he wasn't in the building the building <laughs> needed to be lit purple because that's what prince wanted that's just awesome <laughs> so like, that's just awesome i mean he was here yeah a few months ago yeah uh, not even a few months ago yeah. a month ago he was in toronto mm -hmm. it was thursday mm-hmm I get an alert on my phone mm -hmm. saying he's coming tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets went on sale and were sold out in minutes. He played, I think, the yeah. Sony Center here in Toronto for two days. Sold out. Well, took a took not even a day's notice and sold out because well, of Prince. I mean, also, for what I heard, he had a house here. Um, so he lived here occasionally. Um, yeah. So he loved this city, which was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that was always a, another feather in our cap of, like, Prince likes us, so fuck y'all. So, um, like I said, yeah. information... Like he said, mm -hmm. life is just a party. Yeah, parties aren't meant to last. That's right. So, I mean, damn. Like it's just it's honestly, my iPod's been nothing but Prince since I heard. Yep. So you know, I'm and, sure a lot of people have. So yeah. Godspeed, Purple One. Mm -hmm. And now we get to the wrestling related death, and this is tragic. This really is. Like it was sad to, to hear about Blackjack Mulligan. Mm -hmm, it was, and um, it was had. It's uh, really sad to hear about Balls Mahoney because mm -hmm. of the age. And here's another yeah. one. This is, I mean, she was only a year older than Balls. Oh, I know. Um, and this is, because it's, it's especially tragic because we've all got to see it. Yeah, we saw Publicly. It. Yeah, it just. And that's what hurts the most. Yeah. Uh, Joni Lauer, mm -hmm. A.K. China. Yeah. The ninth one of the world. Mm hmm. Um, um, passed away on Wednesday? I, I last think Wednesday? so, yeah, yeah. And or no, Thursday. Or Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not sure. Like I said, I got the news of her and Prince at yeah, the same yeah. time, so I don't know which one was which. So. Um, this was bad because yeah. she was a deal. She was a trailblazer. Like, well, well, let's let's all put away what we know about. Yeah, China let's now. not talk the about the after. The, yeah, the, the, the drugs, drugs and all and of that the stuff. Videos that she's made in the shooting. Like, the, yeah, the whole... no, let's ignore that. And the, you know the 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 celebrity rehab and all of that stuff. And let's the not surreal talk life that. and all that. Stuff. Yeah, let's, let's put not it all talk about away that. because we yeah. don't want to talk about that no, right now because no. we want to talk about how important she was. Mm-hmm. You know, Luke, Luke and Chuck and Chen did, yeah. did a bit too, were, mm -hmm. and they were bang on. Yeah. The Attitude Era. Yes. She was one of the top stars. Oh, absolutely. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. She was definitely Like, you can't a take that deal. away from her. No. Stephanie and Triple H um, will never be able to take that away no, from her. No, 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 no. The company yeah. will never be able to take no. that away from her. Um, and that's, that's what it is, right? Like, God, I, I don't even know how to explain everything I'm thinking right now, but... Sorry, I'm just also looking something up because I want to double check something just to right. point it out. Because um, what the hell? But she uh, came in mm -hmm. and was a member yeah, of the original go. DX. Her, right. John, yeah. mm -hmm. Trips, Trips, and Rude, <laughs> Rude. Yeah. Um, but that the the like the image yeah. of her standing there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was the heavy. Like all in all, she was the heavy. She was yeah. bigger than Trips and Sean at the time, mm -hmm. um, and bigger than Rick Rude as well. Yeah, they they brought in. There's a, a reason why they heavy. call her the ninth wonder of yeah. the world because she was a fucking she was a wonder tank. to look at. Yeah, Just, she was amazing. Look at the size to look at. of this yes. broad. I mean, she was huge. She was. I mean. Just, I remember seeing her for the first time going, what the fuck is that? And all the skits that they nuts. did, and she was oh, yeah. involved in all of them. Yep. I know? mean, yeah, no, as much as, like, her character was that she was the big, tough badass, she participated in all of their stupid shenanigans, 
and pulled it off. Mm -hmm. She was able to do really stupid shit with them and still look like a badass. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? First woman in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. First uh, and only woman who's ever going to win the Intercontinental title. Twice, which is what I looked up. Um, Like, that's, like, that's a thing. Like, I don't think there'll ever be another woman in the Royal Rumble. So she owns that. Um, well, no, there have been women. Have there? Yeah, Beth Phoenix did a rumble. Oh, did she Karma really? I did a rumble. That. Oh, yeah, 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 there have been women okay, since her. Fair enough, but um, she was the first yeah. to do it. Nobody else is ever going. And there to... was a spot. What yeah. in 1999 where mm-hmm. there was a re- there was a talk. I hear but that there mm-hmm. was real talk about her maybe going after the world title. Yeah, I did hear that as well. Yeah, there you know, was. And it would have was... been surprising. Yeah, because look at the size of her. No, I, I, mean, I buy it. Yeah. I mean, again, she's bigger than half the guys. That Royal so. Rumble, that Royal Rumble, she went in, and I saw the clip on on Raw. The first one she eliminated was fucking Mark Henry. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a deal. You know what I mean? Like, that was putting her over as crazy. And yeah, I mean, she had an amazing career with the WWF slash E. Um, oh, her run with Eddie Guerrero. Oh, it's just the amazing. Mamacita. The Mamacita. Oh yeah, God. like oh, it was, that was it was her, awesome. That was some of his best work, and yeah. probably her best. Oh, work. definitely. Um, yeah, like that was because you got to see her. Uh huh. Yeah, she Holy acted f- like herself. She the, wasn't the comedy, just the, yeah. the drama. Yeah, she everything. wasn't just the the ba- the silent badass. Because I I do remember one of the things that actually made me un- laugh uncontrollably. Not about that, but the DX thing was when they were doing the mock. They were the DX was having a fight, and they were going to possibly split. Mm-hmm. And they did the whole thing where she ended up mooning them. But my favorite part of that was her grabbing the mic and then speaking. And I think Triple H went, or no, Sean turned to Triple H and was like, she can talk? Because <laughs> that was the character. She just never said a word. It was brilliant. Like, she can actually, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said. Yeah. Just Trailblazer in wrestling, not just women's wrestling, but wrestling. Yeah, like she, One of the know, biggest stars at one of the biggest times in mm-hmm. wrestling. Like, she was a top name. If you if you list off the names of the Attitude Era, her name is there. And there is no hesitation. As much as they try to scrub. Yeah, they could scrub and, all the I mean, they, they won't now. No. Because, um, unfortunately, the way WWE works, death heals all wounds. It isn't time, it's death. Five bucks says she's in the Hall of Fame next year. This year? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, the very next, the very yeah, next year. This, yeah. The next WrestleMania 33 she weekend. She will be in the Hall of Fame. She will be in the Hall of Fame. I... I mean, and it we, sucks that she had to pass away for that to yeah, happen. Yeah, because, I mean, you and I did... It sucks that she wasn't part of the DX. Yeah, the, like, I know. That doesn't fuck? make any I, sense. I get it. I get it. Again, we yeah, don't want to... We, we, had, we, we actually we, had this discussion. We don't want to highlight, again, yeah. that she's... Since leaving the company, yeah. she's she hasn't been in a good place for... Yeah, a long time. A better half of a decade and a half. Probably, yeah. Like, so, um... Ever since she left the company, she never picked her life back up, which because, is a shame. You gotta think, right? Mm-hmm. Your boyfriend, yeah. longtime boyfriend, mm-hmm. dumps you, marries the boss's daughter, yeah. and then could that's you work it. Kicks for that you company? Out, kicks yeah. you out. Kicks you out. Doesn't even give her company. the option to leave. She kicks her yeah. out, and then and that's unfortunately it. And that destroyed her. It destroyed and her, that's... and she never recovered. But it's not that, that's not all on WWE. No, 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 that's, certainly that's not. Her too. I mean, it definitely she had issues too. She but... did. I mean, she had issues before this happened, from yeah. all accounts. So, so you know, we don't want to necessarily dwell on that. Um, it was but, just an unfortunate situation yeah. that just got bad because, like I said, we got to see it. We unfold. saw it unfold like constantly through every time we saw her outside. Like whenever she was in the media in any way, shape, or form, you saw it, and you always felt bad. I mean, you and I, you and I actually had a discussion. I, I for some reason, it's always in the back of my head of us discussing whether or not she could ever be in the Hall of Fame. And I was like, I and we were both like, she should. But she never will be because of all of the shit surrounding her. Mm-hmm. And now that doesn't stop anybody else, though. Like, yeah, Sonny's done a porn. Yeah. you don't scrub her. No, and that's the thing I don't understand. Like I never understood that. Of like, it's bad, but is it that bad? Like, is it that bad? Like to not I understood honor the decision. Yeah, I understood yeah. the decision at the time. Yeah, fine, whatever. I mean, you got horrible. I'm yeah. sorry. There's some horrible people in the There in the really Hall of is. Fame. Like, there is some bad shit. Just because they didn't do it publicly doesn't mean... I mean, let's face it, I, I don't want to necessarily say it, but Jimmy Snook is in the Hall of Fame, and he, he killed someone. You know... And they're not going to take him out because be, of it, so... Be, uh, there's other names that I don't really want to There really speak is. On. But, like but, I said, it's unfortunate. This yeah. is super tragic. Yeah, Because you is, always wanted it to work out for someone you like did, her. You did, you know, and you, you were always... It's She's one of those cases you were always hoping was going to pull themselves out. You know what I mean? Maybe 
you know, get off of whatever her demons were and then like, you know, go to 